Hello, this is a book by Michael Foreman and it's called The Littlest Dinosaur. Alexander and I are going to read it and I hope all the children at St James can join us. Long, long ago, when the world was young and everything was new, a mother dinosaur sat proudly amongst her eggs. One by one, the eggs began to crack and baby dinosaurs poked their heads out into the sunshine, all except one. The mother worried and fussed about it and kept it warm and sang songs to it, but still the egg didn't crack. The neighbours came with help and advice. Make it warmer, they said. Keep it cool, they suggested. The mother was very loving and lay beside the egg all the time. She breathed on it to keep it warm or fanned it with banana leaves to keep it co to cool it down. But still the egg didn't crack. The father dinosaur wanted to break the egg open, but the mother said, no, it will happen when the baby is ready, not before. Then, one day, the father became so tired of looking after all the other young dinosaurs while the mother fussed over the egg that he put his face very close to the egg and shouted, come on, egg, do something. The egg shook. The egg wobbled and then it began to crack. A little crack at first, then a big crack and the shell broke in two. The littlest dinosaur. It is the littlest dinosaur. The baby dinosaur blinked in the sunlight. The father dinosaur gasped. Mother dinosaur gasped. All the young dinosaurs and all the neighbours gasped. They had never seen such a tiny baby. That's the littlest dinosaur I have ever seen, said the father. You're no bigger than a dinosaur's toe. The neighbours began to giggle. Oh, he may be tiny, but he's special to me, cried mother. Dinosaur cried Mother Dinosaur and scooped the baby up and kissed his tiny little face. Days and weeks passed and no matter how much food Mother gave the baby dinosaur, he didn't grow any bigger. The littlest dinosaur was sad because he was too small to join in with his big brothers and sisters when they played and then there was the worry about being trodden on by his huge neighbours. You see him playing the football. The only place that the littlest dinosaur felt safe was high on a hill. There he could sit and look down on the forest. It made him feel bigger. One day, far away on another hill, he saw another dinosaur. It was a long neck. Even at that distance, he looked sad. The littlest dinosaur wondered how a dinosaur that big could possibly be sad. When the rainy season began, the big dinosaur squelched and rolled in the mud. But not the littlest dinosaur. He hated the mud. He was always getting stuck in the other dinosaur's big muddy footprints and having to yell, Help! Help! Get me out of here! Help! Then, one day, the father dinosaur got stuck. He was squelching and rolling in the deep mud at the edge of the river. But when he tried to get out, he couldn't. The more he struggled, the more he got stuck. Get me out of here, he yelled. Get me out. Mother tried to help, but she got stuck. The neighbours tried to help and they got stuck. The littlest dinosaur's brothers and sisters waded in and they got stuck too. Get us out of here, they yelled. Get us out. The littlest dinosaur wished and wished that he was bigger, big enough to rescue them all. You must go for help, cried the mother dinosaur. But who could help, wondered the littlest dinosaur. Then he remembered the long neck. Where's the long neck? On the hill, let's see. 
the littlest dinosaur was scared as he stepped from the river bank onto a water lily leaf. It tipped and it dipped, but it didn't sink. One leaf at a time, he wibbled and wobbled his way across the river, then ran through the forest and climbed the hill, slipping and sliding, sliding and slipping, and he got to the top. There he was, the long neck. He looked down at the littlest dinosaur. Help me, please, the littlest dinosaur cried. My family are stuck in the river and the water is rising fast. The long neck picked him up and with great long strides was soon down the hill, through the forest and at the river bank. He stretched his neck across the river and began pushing and pulling the sinking dinosaurs out until one by one they were all safe on the shore. Thank you, Father Dinosaur shouted as he waved to the long neck. And as for you, he said, picking up the littlest dinosaur, you may be the size of a bug, but you've got the brave heart of a dinosaur a hundred times your size. And Daddy kissed him on his tiny nose. When the rain stopped and the river was not so wide, the littlest dinosaur went to visit the long neck again. Long neck no, no longer looked sad. I thought I was too big and clumsy to do anything useful, he said. But now I know that's not true. And I thought I was too small to do anything at all, laughed the littlest dinosaur. They sat together on the hill, the biggest and the littlest, and now they are the greatest of friends.